Hello guys. Um, sorry about the last video. It just turned off and I thought it was recording and I realised that I hadn't deleted a lot of my videos and there was no space left. So it just turned off. So I have, have actually done some stuff in the meantime um, which because I thought it was recording. So what I did here um, is I just got the... Um, the butterfly from in there and also got the bird from in there and then managed to collect um, all bits just you just need small bits and pieces so this is a bit of um, coffee dyed muslin and then I just put this little bit of paper and um, this underneath there so I think that looks rather nice it just takes a little bit and then I also put um, this paper I was going to go with the other one but I went with um, this one instead so pretty looks nice on that side too so okay so I've done that one I've still got to ink the edges of it as well always looks so much nicer when it gets inked and then what I'm going to do is I'll probably turn off the camera for a little bit and I want to sew the outside and then sew around the outside of that too really love this paper it sort of reminds me of Tim Holtz style paper I might as well do the inking here while I'm there okay. so um, yeah. so pretty so I was in the process of deciding what I was going to do on this one when I realized my camera was off so I thought I'll just have another little bit on here. Only need small bits. That's a leftover bit of the other side. Put it on there. And then a bit of lace, which is quite a pretty colour. Probably go along there like that. Because it's quite wide. I'm just gonna try and cut some of it off. Wow. That's fine, but he's probably got a little bit of his tail chopped off anyway, so I'm going to chop a little more off and then re ink. There we go. Just a tad wide. That's what I need it for. On the bottom. Now, put that there like this. And I got this piece, I really like it. It's got a leaf. And then I wanted to put that on top of there like that. I think that's gonna work. I'll get my glue out. Put my layers. I only need a little bit. Oh, so stringy. Because I'll be uh, sewing. Hopefully that will hold it down too. The rain stopped. Um, which is good because it was getting rather loud there. Oop. Now. Yep. Nice and close to the edge. And this one as well. Definitely need to reveal this bottle. There we go. I think adding fabric just looks so pretty. I might have the frayed, more of the frayed edge on the top. And then I'll stick that. Love this fabric. When I um, scanned all the other fabric I scanned this too but I didn't print it off because I thought I'm, I wouldn't mind utilizing it actually that would probably be really good for this journal for some pages and then go that way and then, oops. 
can on. Oh, my birds are chirping. I think they're happy that the, the rain's gone. Okay. I'm going to put that underneath. I'll just put it over here so it sort of covers that a bit. It's one thing I like about collage. It's all about layering. And then that'll stick over the top of that. Looks lovely. Okay, I actually really like that colour too, the um, it underneath, I'll put it a bit more in the middle because I'm going to sew around the outside, Oop. she says that she accidentally puts it on the side. these birds they look so nice so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew around that and then I will be back Oop, pause okay back again so what I'm going to do so I've sewed I stitched around there like that and I really liked them and I thought, rather than doing a hinge, I might make a hinge for another one. But I might, I like this paper. And I'll probably, in hindsight, I probably should have put this on first and then stitched around. So that's what you can do, is to double side them. But I really like this paper and I quite like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Fussy cut, but I like the little draw. So I'm gonna go like this so that the draw will be in between, and then just do that. And grab this. We'll see what I'm doing in a minute. So, now what I want to do is put that on top of there like this and cut it off, and so that the little drawer can be a tuck spot. I'm going to put another, um, a little tiny tag in there. I think that'll look really cute. So I'll do that for that side as well. There we go. There we go. Now I've got some double sided tape somewhere that is actually rather small, but I can't find it. This is why I need you need to clean your craft room regularly <laughs> because stuff gets messing so, see that's the reverse side of that light paper I'll just cut that that's so cute and then I'll probably go down this lot I'll save and never throw away for another lot I'll grab these bits too I need to go in a bit so there you go, your plans always change, they always turn out how they're supposed to. Well, they just change. Now, I'm going to put that on there, but I'll go better on this one. I'll cut them out, and they're a tad long. But what I will do is glue. I'm just going to use a glue stick. 
I'll use a glue stick for in the middle and then on the outside put some of that other glue with the thread I've got a feeling it may not stay down we'll have a look see how we go well it stays on here Oh, oh, silly, silly. Forgot to do this. Oh, well, get glue everywhere. I'm not going to do the bottom. I've got a feeling that I'm going to have to cut some of that off. So I am going to do that. There we go. Okay, let's see. Doesn't matter if it's a bit short because I'm putting that on the outlet. Really like that. And if it is a bit big, I just go around it. I think it might be a bit tab coming in on this side as well. Okay. A bit more. Glue. Um, I think that glue may hold. There we go. But what I would probably do, because this is what happens when you're making a process video, you just um, play as you go along. And I make the mistake, so you don't have to. That's a Will a Wilmer Fersenberg saying. Anybody who knows Wilmer Fersenberg. Um, she's a scrapbook artist. She's got some really nice stuff on her channel. And she always says, well, I make the mistakes so that you don't have to. You can learn. Now, tape. Here it is. I'm looking for this and then I just find it. Ugh. Leave it laying around. You get fluff all over it. So what I'm going to do with that, I may have to cut a little bit off the end. There we go. Put that in there like this. Oh, even more again. That was quite a bit longer. Now I'll even it up, I'll do it on this side. There we go. Okay. What I want to do. Sided glue tape is good for making little tuck spots. There we go. Hopefully, this video is not going to take too long, but. Crafting takes a while, at least if you're crafting along with me, it's in real time so you can just do it and it's not a problem. Yeah, but you can always, it's the beauty of YouTube, you can pause videos. Here we go, cool, looks like a little drawer. Definitely it would have been better if I had it um, sewn around all of it, but that's just how it goes. Now, what I was thinking, I've got these tags, which is probably a tad too long, but so that's all good, so we can cut them. And these tags, these are just from my, my local cheapie $2.00. For 20 tags, just from your local $2 shop or whatever shop that you've got. So I will just cut it off at the end just a little bit. A tag within a tag. I'm wondering if I should put a 
loop on there. Probably. So I cut it off shorter than I'd like. Just there we go. That's probably better. Yep. That's a better size. Because I want to put it I want to put a tag on there. I think it'd be look really nice with a an eyelet or something like that. So what I'm going to do is do the same for the other side. And then this is a little bit white for my liking, so I will probably use some paper or something for on the front. And that way um, they can journal on the back. So what I'll do, because the video is taking a little while, I'll give it a pause again and then come back when I've decorated this little bit and we'll finish the end. Back again. So what I've done is um, I put some little buttons on there, just added a bit, a bit of texture, finished that one and I've done that one on there. So these, I got that, remember that paper that I had? At the start from that um, Nature ABC so I just put that on there and inked around it so that you can write on the back for journaling and then you just sort of a little bit just grunge it up a little bit so what I was thinking it needs something for on the back of them so this has got the butterflies so I'm gonna get this page that I've already cut into and I will get this butterfly here I like about these um, these pages. You've got all little bits that you can utilise from one page. So I'll grab that one for there, and because the other one's got a bird on there and it's got cherished moments, cherished a lot, of cherished moments. I'll grab this one here. So the, oh, I put them in camera. There we go. And I'll still probably use this one to do the hinges and do a small um, hinge tag because I really, really love that idea of using the butterflies as the hinges. So now I will. Butterfly. Um, what? It's just going to be so that it can stick out the top and it has something on it. Swallowtails. I think that would be all right. Maybe do that. Working mine. There we go. The old ink. Just to pretty it up a bit. And then glue. Running out of this glue. I need to get another glue stick. Ugh. And that'll go on there. I don't want to cover the word swallow tails because it's the name of the butterfly. So I might have to. A little more of that off. There we go. You can work with what you got. I like that. Very nice. Because it's only at the back, um, and that's your place to journal. And you can probably journal on there as well. Um, I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna. I was gonna. All the fabric and everything will go on this side. Because that'll be the bit that you stick in. And I've also put an eyelet here and made that low enough so that I could stick something out of here. Which I am going to find some fabric. 
one down. Yeah. Might as well utilize this one. In a small bit, but it's all you need. Let's see if it's even gonna fit through. Let's hope. It may not. I don't know how it will fit through. I will not it. There we go. There we go. Ideally, if we could get a second knot, it would be good, but I don't think I will. So what I could probably do, oh, it's glue. Maybe even put a blob of glue to hold it down, but I think that should be all right. There you go. I like that. I even like the way that it frays. So there's that one. That looks cool. And a little butterfly. That'll look nice in there. And then this one, where's my crocodile? Where'd he go? Oh, there it is. Um, I'll have to chop a little bit of it off. Who says we need a tag? This almost looks like one. Oh, I'll leave it. Now, this. I might have that cut that a little smaller. A bit of this one there. In fact, this video is not going too long. Okay. I think after this project, this is gone. Oh, I think I might have to use some of this. There we go. Which I'll need anyway because I'm always wanting to do the buttons. Oh, jeez. If you know my channel, you know me and glue just don't go. <laughs> okay. Oh, birds are chirping, they're happy little campers outside. And they're happy that the rain is all gone. Okay. Now, put that on there like that, and I'll put that a little lower. That's so cute. Makes it really easy when the paper is so nice. It does the work for you. So... That's it, I think, guys. That's this one. So I've got two beautiful tags to put into the journal and I want to make some nice envelopes out of some papers too, so I'll probably have that. May put a tag in there, I don't know. I don't, don't necessarily need it. And I was ummoning and whether I put some um, buttons down here. I think I might. I need something down there and then that'll be it we'll be done there we go. I like buttons they really finish off projects as long as you don't get ones that are too bulky goes nicely with The brown goes nicely with the birds and the green goes nicely with the background paper. We've got to wait for it to dry. Well, it says it's quick dry. Well, I'm rather happy with how they've turned out. 
Very nice. 25 minutes, probably longer than what I would have liked. But here we go. Here we go. Looks good. And this one, so pretty. There we go. Love it. So, um, on to the next one. Well, I'll be putting some. Oh, there we go. See how nicely they go. Oh, beautiful. Um, I'm going to put some envelopes or something on the side of it, I think. Needs something to tuck things in the back and front. So that will be my next my next one. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for your patience with the trouble with the computer, uh, computer the uh, video. And until the next tutorial, I will, um, I'll catch you later. Bye.